as a homeowner, it's very important that we all understand how to disengage our garage door opener from our garage door to operate it manually, just in case there's a power outage or a malfunction in our garage door opener unit. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do that following these easy steps. Now, if you have a Sears Craftsman, a LiftMaster, or a Chamberlain belt drive or chain drive, your trolley system most likely looks like this. Now, in order to disengage, pull down and away in one swift motion. Now, as you can see, you have an extended spring here which indicates your trolley is disengaged. Now we're free to operate the garage door manually. Now to re-engage, pull down and toward the door, and your spring contracts there. Now we're ready to slide into the inner trolley. And as you can see, it locks in by itself. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this instructional video. If you have any other problems, feel free to give us a call. Thank you so much.